I'm Brad Guthrie from AwakenTheAbsinthin.com. One of my all-time favorite treat meals is pizza. Love pizza. But one of my other favorite treat meals are Dairy Queen blizzards. So if I want to have one treat meal a week, then I want to make my own healthy pizza using whole ingredients. If you want to know what ingredients I use and how I made this healthy pizza, stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly that. It's pizza time, one of my favorite all-time foods to eat. So what I have here is I've already sliced up the ingredients. I'll take you through what the ingredients are, but before we start, go to your oven, preheat 375 Fahrenheit. Okay, so I laid out on a baking sheet with tin foil because I hate clean uh, baking sheets. Tin foil with a little bit of uh, spray on it with four pitas. Now the pitas that I bought are the whole 100% whole wheat pitas. We're going to start off by putting some extra virgin olive oil on the pitas. So about one tablespoon for each pita. Spread that around with your spoon. This is going to give it a really nice flavor and nice healthy source of healthy fats. So we'll spread that olive oil around. Okay, now that the olive oil is on there, we're going to take some grated fresh garlic. All right, we got to love the flavor that garlic gives anything, especially pizzas. Spread it around. You don't want one bite with a big chunk of garlic on it. So now that we have the olive oil and the garlic on there, we're going to put some tomato sauce or pasta sauce, pizza sauce, whatever you want to call it, over top. Okay, so now we're going to put the sliced tomato. So I thinly sliced these tomatoes and we're going to add some of those to each pita. Let's add a little more olive oil, some mono unsaturated fats. Here we go. Okay, looking good so far, looking good. I'm excited. Let's put some basil on there. Let's get a little more coming out. Don't be shy with the spices. Spice it up. Oregano. Let's add some sea salt. Now I don't eat too much salt because I find it really dries me out so I always put it in the palm of my hand to add so I don't overdo it on the salt. Fresh black pepper. And one of my special ingredients, some crushed red pepper. This is going to give you a little bit of spice, so go easy on this stuff because it can be actually quite hot if you get a mouthful of too many of these little guys. So we'll throw those guys on. If you hear that groaning, it's my dog. He needs to go out soon, so i got to hurry this up. Oh, I just had quite a bit there. That's going to be a pretty hot bite. Now we're going to add some chicken. So I already cooked the chicken, so let's get some protein on this pizza. I like to add a lot of chicken to each piece. Just a little side note, do you know what the Greek meaning of protein means? The Greek meaning, did you hear my dog? <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, it's a sin, I need to take him out. Yeah, he needs to go. You know what the Greek meaning of protein is? It's of prime importance. That's why we should center every single meal that we have around a protein source. So a protein source in this pizza is the chicken. That's the building source of this meal. All right, let's put the mushrooms on. Sliced mushrooms. Last, let's go with some pineapple. Hawaiian style, put some pineapple on there. All right, so we have almost everything on there except for the cheese, but before I put the cheese on, I wanna actually put it in the oven for about eight minutes to kind of crisp the crust up a little bit. So we're gonna put the cheese on after. So this is how they look, if you can see that on the camera. Looking good, looking good. Let's stick this in the oven that's preheated for 375. We're going to put the timer on for 8 minutes. And then we're going to put the cheese on. So as we wait for the crust for 8 minutes in the oven, that's when you clean up. you got to be efficient. So when you're waiting, that's when we clean. I actually think I could eat pizza almost every single day. All right, the buzzer just went off. Take these guys out of there. So this was the pre-bake before you put the cheese on just to crisp up the crust. So I like to put just a little bit of cheese. I don't like too much cheese. 
Um, just a little handful on each. And then it goes back into the oven for two minutes. We are ready to test drive this pizza. So here it is. This is the final piece right here. And I'm going to take a quick bite and let you know what I think. The awesome thing about this is the garlic and the olive oil in the pizza crust just gives it an incredible flavor. So let's see if I can taste it. Two thumbs up. You can find this recipe at the Awaken the Ads Within membership site. And you're gonna see that link right here. I'm gonna let you go because I gotta finish this pizza before it hits cold. I'll talk to you again.